So next we want to change our site titles and description color to match our background color. So let's have a look if we can use our selector tool again and highlighting this section here shows that we have an element called site title so let's click on that and if we have a look on the right hand side here we can't see anything there that denotes a particular color setting so we might have to go back to our left hand window pane and click on the little um, the cross and have a look and click again and we have something here which specifies the title so let's click on that and look back onto our right hand window and we can now see that there's a color property and if we hover over that we can see that it's the black color so this must be the color that we're dealing with so let's click on that particular color code and we'll replace that with our own color code which was the red so that was remember it was 7A1616 and as we can see that's been immediately reflected in the browser so that's now red and we want to do something similar for the, the site description tag which is just underneath so let's go back to our selector tool and that looks like it's um, selecting the site description so we'll click on that now looking back into our right hand pane we can see that there's a color there hovering over we see that it's gray which appears to match what the current description is so we'll change that also to the same color code that we have our site title so 7A1616 and similarly that's also changed our site description to the same color so if we're happy with these changes we will put these in our document once again so for the site description it's line 525 that we need to change and before we forget let's have a look at our site title that was line 513 and there's the color code there we'll put our own color code so that was for the site title and then we'll do the same for the site description so we'll save our file and let's go back and make a couple more changes so the next change we want to make is the background color of the menu bar and as you can see currently the menu bar has a background color which is black and what we'll do for the purpose of our exercise is change this to be the same color as our red background color which we set earlier so once again let's choose the selector tool and let's hover around the menu bar and as we can see the menu bar is highlighted so we'll click into it now and we'll look into our right window pane um, of Firebug and we can immediately see that we have two codes for colors here so let's click on these on this property and let's modify the first color code to be our original background red color so remember that was 7A1616 and our second color code will go into a slightly darker shade of red now this is a code I looked up earlier so I'll enter it here and that's 570808 and if we look into our browser now we can actually see it's the color that we want so we're ready to put this change into our style.css file once again and scrolling down to line 540 we can start making our changes now before I make any changes you'll notice that there's more than one entry for this particular property element and the reason is that the CSS file is appearing to cater for different versions of web browsers and different types of web browsers so when we make our change we'll change all instances of where we see a color code to the color codes that we want okay so after we've made our changes let's save our file and we're ready to go back and do another change now the last change we're going to do is change the colors of the headings for each of the posts 
and as you can see currently they're black and for the purpose of our exercise we'll just change them to the dark red color which we set our background color to so using the same method we were using before we're selecting the selector tool and hovering around or over the section that we're interested in let's click on this and go to our right hand window pane and as we can see we have currently have a shade of black so let's change that and we'll put our red color 7A1616 and looking at the browser window we can see that this change has um, taken effect and it is what we were looking for so we're happy with that let's take note of our line number so we know which part of the code to change so in this case it's line 729 so going back to our style.css file and let's put in our change and we'll put our color code of 7A1616 and let's save our changes so we've completed all of our changes for this exercise and what we want to do now is make these changes permanent because currently all the changes we've made have only been through the Firefox Firebug tool and as we can see if we refresh this window we will lose all these changes so we'll do a reload and as you can see all of our changes have been lost but we can now transfer over the CSS file which we've been modifying step by step to our host to see our permanent changes so now I'm at my FileZilla FTP client window and before I transfer the file over I'm going to rename my existing original file to another name so that if I mess things up and I want to revert back my changes I can always do that by renaming the file back to its original name so I'll choose the file in my 2011 theme and I'll right click on it and I'll select rename then I'll add a suffix to that so that it reminds me that it's the original CSS file which I can always revert back to okay so my style.css file has been renamed now I'll transfer over the modified style.css file to my host once the transfer has been completed let's see the effect the permanent effect of our changes so now we're back at our blog window so what we'll do is reload this page and now that we've transferred over the CSS file with with our changes we can see that our web page is exhibiting those new properties so that concludes this video tutorial and I hope you found it useful to see more tutorials or other helpful resources go to tips and tricks HQ bye for now